Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new writing vlog. So Reedsy recently reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to participate in their July How to Write a Novel course that they provide and I thought it would be a lot of fun. I have written quite a few novels before so I'm assuming that the information in this course isn't going to be 100% brand new to me but I feel like it could be a really good refresher course just you know remind me of things that I should be doing in my books. Maybe I'll learn something new as well and I'm really excited for that. I've never taken a writing course before but I do love learning everything and anything that I can about writing. So this vlog is going to span me doing the prep sessions so they do have a few videos to watch before you get into the course and then I'll also so do the first few weeks of the course as well and kind of tell you guys what I think about it. So basically this course consists of daily videos for 101 days and we're going to learn the foundations of writing and storytelling via our teacher Tom Bromley who I believe is an established writer. I believe he's also a ghost writer and I know that he does a lot of work with Reezy. I see him on their YouTube channel all the time and I believe the whole goal of this course beyond just like learning things about writing and how to write a novel is to actually complete a novel in the three months which I believe means that you write 5,000 words a week in order to hit 75,000 words by the end of the three months. I believe there's also a weekly live shows. Yeah there's weekly webinars with writing coaches and authors. There's opportunities to receive feedback I believe from fellow writers taking the course so you can submit parts of your book for people to critique which i think could be really helpful so i'm taking part in the course starting on july 1st the next one starts on september 2nd so if you guys are interested in taking this course the next one is in september i do have an affiliate link down below in the description for you guys to check out as you watch these vlogs if you decide that this is a course that you would like to take then using that link down below would be really really helpful to me and my channel so i would really appreciate that if you guys are interested in this course but this course does cost just over $1,200. I believe this is in US funds, just over $1,200. So it is a bit of a steep price, but that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you guys if I think that that price is worth what this course is providing. So I'm going to start with the prep courses today and I'm really excited about it. It looks like we're going to be learning about pitch, protagonist, plotting, point of view, and place. I don't know what project I'm going to be working on with this course yet. I'm not going to be drafting a novel with this course like you're supposed to that's just not where I'm at in my writing journey currently but I am going to be using these courses using these prep sessions to kind of start planning out a novel that I can hopefully draft later on in the year or next year when I'm not so heavily focused on revising other projects that I've already written so I do have three work in progresses that I could potentially um, work on with this course so we're gonna kind of just jump into the prep courses later today um, and I am going to to just kind of bounce back and forth between the three projects and see which one is kind of flowing better, see which one I'm getting ideas for more, see which one is calling to me. Right now one is calling to me a bit more than the other so we'll see if that rings true as I start to work on them but I'm really excited to take this course so I hope you guys are excited for this video. I know that I am. Yeah let's just get started. Welcome to the warm-up sessions of the Reedsy Novel Writing Course. Today we're going to look at what I think is one of the secrets of fiction. Okay. So it's been quite a while since I've updated this vlog, but I was on vacation for a week and then I came back and I was really busy catching up on things that I missed and then I went on vacation again and now we're back. I am trying to really dedicate some time to the Reedsy writing course because I was just really preoccupied before doing novel revisions, but if you've seen my most recent writing vlog, then you will know that I finished the novel revisions. So while my beta readers have that book, I finally have the time to fully dedicate to this course and to actually try and work on a novel while watching the course. I'm currently on week two of the course, even though we are on like week five or something 
week four or five. I don't even know what week we're on. Um, that is how behind I am. I have been watching them. I'm currently on day 10. I did day 10 today. I'm gonna try to watch a few more, but I wanted to like take a pause from watching the course because I haven't actually like chosen a project to work on and like actively worked on anything. So I think I've decided potentially, at least in this current moment, right now i want to work on my middle grade book just because i feel like if i'm going to draft a novel this year it's probably going to be this one this one feels the most likely because it's like a fun project middle grades do tend to be shorter so if i were to draft it since i'm an underwriter it probably wouldn't be very long like maybe thirty thousand words so anyways i went back to the prep courses to look at the protagonist course the protagonist video and i looked at the kind of like extra reading that the course had or that that video had and they had a link to their blog that was all about character profiles so i decided that i haven't really worked on the characterization too much for this book and i do have my own character profiles that i've been using since like 2018 but i figured why not try and do their character profile which is a bit more specific than the one that i use like for example they have like a whole thing about the physical appearance of your character and it asks like specific questions whereas mine is just kind of like physical appearance and i just kind of fill it in with everything that i can think of for that character i do still want to do aspects of my own character profile that i do but i figured for right now i would just go to their blog do this extra reading that they assign and so far it's going really well. I've just been kind of writing everything down um, and answering all the little different things and I just finished doing the basics and the physical appearance as well as the speech and communication and I'm about to dig in to the backstory of this character and um, I feel like one of the things they talked about, if I remember correctly, because it's been a while now since I watched these prep courses, but I feel like they talked about how sometimes like the plot comes from the character and things about your character will then you know decide things in your book makes sense and i've been struggling with like plot recently and like coming up with ideas for my books i just feel kind of creatively blocked so maybe if i sit down and just fully flesh out my characters as much as i can and not worry about the plot so much and just worry about like what i feel in my heart and in my soul and my gut who these characters are that will help me with the plot later on when i get to that portion of figuring it out a bit more because i have like a very general idea of what i want this book to be about it's kind of like turning red vibes the pixar movie but without like the whole turning into a panda part and like all the cultural stuff more so just like the band vibes and the main character and her friend group wanting to go to a concert that's like the closest comp that i know of that i could find and i'm like really excited about this project i think my main character is adorable i just want to know more about her so that is kind of what i'm focusing on currently and so far i'm having fun with it i'm really excited about this book so i'm really hoping that this course will help me unlock things about this project so that I can properly start working on it so yeah so I'm gonna work on this maybe till dinner and then I might have stuff to do after dinner so I don't know what the rest of my day is kind of looking like so I don't know how many videos I'm gonna be able to watch but I would like to try to get through maybe the rest of like the second week that I'm watching so that I can try to catch up a bit better the next week week three is all about uh characters so that could be very beneficial to get to very soon while I'm kind of thinking about these characters because also like none of her friends are fleshed out at all I just have names and like her mom's not figured out because her mom's quite an important character to her so I do need to kind of figure out all of these details so I think I'm gonna be stuck on character stuff for a while so i'm um, thinking that the next week will be very very helpful so i've now been taking this reezy course for a few weeks i have done 24 out of the 92 lessons i am a little bit behind still i am a couple of weeks behind but this new week has just started it's currently tuesday as i'm filming this so a week just started yesterday so i am just a couple weeks behind and i do plan on catching up very very soon but july was just so hectic for me that i just didn't have the time to keep up with this every single day but i'm excited to, to dedicate more of august and the rest of the month of the course and really getting into it but i wanted to kind of just sit down and talk about what i'm thinking of the course so far now that i'm a few weeks into it so so far the things that we've covered we've done the prep week which covered things like the pitch the protagonist the plot point of view and place and then the actual weekly lessons we've done so far are beginnings secret sauce which included movement change space peril voice opening pages 
which is really exciting. And then we also had a character, which was also a lot of fun. I'm currently working on the plot skills. I've only watched one video from that week so far, but I'm really excited about this one, especially the flashback video, especially since the book that I just finished a round of revisions on does feature a lot of flashbacks. I'm looking forward to watching that one specifically. And then the other two weeks that we have so far are description and dialogue, which I'm also really interested to get to. So we have lots of exciting things coming up. And as you guys know, I am not trying to draft a book with this course, which is the intention of the course. You're supposed to be writing, I believe, 5,000 words a week in order to get a complete 75,000 word draft by the end of the course. I wish that I was in the place to be currently drafting a book because I think I could get the full effect of this course if I were doing that. But I am having a lot of fun trying to brainstorm and plot a new book while watching this course. I'm currently trying to work on my middle grade novel. I think that's the book that I've decided to work on in this time. And I'm currently trying to work on the character profiles in order to really figure out the plot, letting the character influence the plot, which I believe is what Tom Bromley was talking about in the prep courses. But I'm having a lot of fun thinking about that project and trying to get it to come together so that I can go ahead and draft it. And I will probably revisit some of these videos when I actually sit down to draft this book, just to kind of do a little refresher of everything that Tom Bromley is currently talking about. And what I love about this course is that once you pay for it and once you take this course, all of this material, all the videos, all of the after reading and everything is still available to you. I believe it's available to you forever. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure you have access to this forever, which I think is really great and really helpful. So, you know, it's not just like a one and done and then it's kind of gone once the course is over. It's available here for as long as you would like it, which I think is really, really great. Something in particular that I'm really enjoying about this are the visual aids. I am quite a visual learner. I really enjoy being able to see what somebody is talking about. That was always something that I struggled with in school. If like the teacher was just kind of talking and not showing me like examples of what they were talking about or just showing me like a visual aid to you know, uh, aid <laughs> what they're talking about. So what I really enjoy in this course and in these videos is there are constantly visual aids. So if Tom Bromley is like listing something, there will be something on the other side of the screen listing out what he is saying so you can see it written out. And there's just constantly something else on the screen besides Tom Bromley. If he is reading an excerpt from a book to kind of demonstrate what he is talking about, it will show the excerpt that he is reading on the screen. It will kind of like pan down as he's reading it, which I think is so, so helpful because if it was just kind of him talking at the camera without anything else on the screen, I think the information would go right over my head and I don't think I'd be taking it in as well as I am with these visual aids included in the videos. So that is something that I'm really, really appreciating. And if you are also a visual learner, then I think these videos will be so helpful to you. I think honestly that this course is perfect for those writers who are a bit newer to writing or who maybe have not yet written a novel before or are struggling with writing their first novel. I think this course would be so, so helpful, so beneficial to really guide you through the process. Since there are dedicated things that he's talking about every single week, there are goals every single week. There are also weekly live shows that I believe cover different things. I haven't been able to participate in any of those yet since I have been so busy recently, but the current ones that are kind of coming up that I can see here, there's a weekly masterclass where they're doing some live editing, and then they also have one where they have an author guest, which I think will be lots of fun to kind of tune into, but there are live editing sessions, which I think would also be so beneficial if you're feeling kind of stuck or if you feel like you just need a little bit of direction and help, I think that is like a really great asset to this course that they offer. There's also a community tab on this course that I have not yet looked at, but I think that that would be so helpful as well because one of the best parts of being a writer is getting involved in the community and talking to other people about your writing. And I just love that there is a community aspect to this course since, you know, if you're taking like a writing course in college or something, there are other people around you who are taking the course that you can kind of talk to and connect with. So I like that even though this is a virtual course, there is an aspect of that as well. But yeah, I do think that this is perfect for those writers who have not yet written a novel or who are struggling with currently writing a novel. I do think that this is perfect for you to, you know, help you along, give you some guidance, and kind of just let you know all of the basics that you need to know, the basic things that, that make up a novel. I think that Tom Bromley is covering a lot of different topics. I'm going really in depth with them, having a certain topic that he is going into, delving into every single week. But I also think it's helpful for writers like me who have written a lot of novels before. I've written eight novels before. It's nice to get like a little bit of a refresher on everything and maybe learn some things that I didn't 
know before. Get examples of things in published works because he does give quite a few examples. Not a ton that I'm familiar with. There's been a few titles here and there that I know, but it's been really interesting to see like a wide range of things. So I think it's honestly great for everyone. You just kind of need to gauge where you're at in your writing process and your writing journey and decide if this is a course that would be beneficial to you. I'm really enjoying it so far. I do think the course is quite expensive. I believe it's $1,200, but from my understanding, that's a pretty standard price point for like a college writing course if you were to take one. And I do think you get a lot for what you're paying, like I've talked about before. You get the daily classes, you get weekly live shows. There is that whole community aspect. There's the live editing in those weekly live shows. So I do think you do get a lot. And considering that you get to keep this stuff forever and you get to access these videos whenever you want if you want to look back on them and I just really like the way this whole course is laid out it's very organized and I'm just having a lot of fun with it so far and I'm glad that my schedule is kind of toning down in the next month or so so I can really dedicate more time to this course but yeah that brings us to the end of this video if you guys are interested again in taking this course the next cohort I believe they call it starts in September I believe September 2nd so if you are interested I do have a link down below that you guys can go check out to kind of look into this course a little bit more decide if it's something that you would like to do if you use my link it would help me out so much so i'd really appreciate that if you guys are interested in taking this course but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment down below and let me know if you've ever taken a writing course if this sounds like a course that you would like to take subscribe if you have not yet already and i will see you guys next time bye